to welcome back to another video today we're gonna to be setting up a trap to be fishing this area here this big log we are at the like sort of entrance or exit of it so pretty much this is a collapsible crab trap it's what I use in most of my videos and I have a little net inside it this is just one of those fruit bags you get and what it does is that it helps keep the bait inside there away from the crabs once they're in the trap just a bit and so there we have I use this little net as I said before to keep it away from the crabs this is the bit that I'm using it's just mackerel frozen mackerel probably one of the best bits you can use I like to use mainly oily fish mackerel herring sardines they all work all effective just gonna reach in this is one of those sort of um, it closes itself these bags which is really good put it in then you just close it like that there put that back into the trap and I um in areas such as these which might be less calm when the tide is swinging in or out of the lock I like to put a rock or two actually in my trap it helps to anchor it onto the seabed um, even in some rock marks and everything I'll put rocks in it just to anchor it well down on the seabed so I won't be moving about with the current so I'll put two rocks in there these will really keep it down on the seabed so then what I'll do is that I have basically I have a reel with a lot of line um, I think this is about 30 meters of line I get as much as I can out that way I can throw it out as far as I can so um, I'm going to tie my trap down here, instead of tying it here I'm going to tie it down there so that the people won't see, never know what newsy people will be up to. Now, you can do quite simple knots, as long as there are knots which really will like last, if you know what I mean. It can be one of those knots that might undo itself, usually knots that sort of like slip knots, so um, basically knots which tighten themselves or what I mostly use that way they really really won't undo themselves no specific note for this but see that there Oops. there there you see that well tight there's no chance of that undoing itself there so this is the area that I'm gonna be setting my trap now it's an old disused pier and the ground is mainly mixed ground so really it's just sandy sediments as well as big rocks and a lot of bladder rock which is a type of seaweed and um, I don't know if you can see that on the camera but it's quite shallow and it slightly drops off into much bluer deeper water off there you'd usually be looking to be putting your traps in quite a depth of water if you're aiming to get lobsters or bigger edible crabs or fish species or anything and um, I'll show you how to get your trap out there so what I like to do is I get all my line in the sort of same area you don't want it spread out and keep it well away from your legs or any structures that when you throw it out it won't you know snag and um, stop it from going out as far as you can um, traps like these collapsible crab traps um, smartly enough you can fold them when you're throwing them it can make it easier in some situations to throw your trap when you fold it a bit like this I have all my line there thicker line won't get into knots as easily at all I can see where it's slightly deeper it's all shallow over there and it gets slightly deeper just right there what I'm gonna do I'm gonna throw it well out as far as I can Well, that's not very far, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Get most of your line in the water. You can see it's still sinking. There you go. All the lines in the water are traps out there. That's as far as I can probably get it out. 
it's hard to get them really far out. It's good enough. And hopefully we'll catch something tomorrow. So we are now going to be taking out our trap. We've left it overnight out there, as you can see. Time to bring it in. Or Feels heavy, but feels really heavy. You can never tell, it might just be a load of seaweed. So, well, I'm gonna pass through this piece of seaweed. Look at that lobster! <gasps> Magical. Magical there. There you have a lobster. Amazing. Oh, it's tied. Oh, it's tied up. Okay. And also a velvet swimming crab. That's actually a really good sign for biodiversity, by the way. Managed. Oh, there we go. Open it. Who are you here? We love so here we have the lobster. Unfortunately, this specimen is about a centimeter undersized. We measured it, came out at 7.5 centimeters. It's meant to be 8.5 if I remember well. So just about a centimeter undersized. So we're gonna throw him back in. It's your typical common lobster. This is a female. You can sort of tell by the way it widens out at the base of the tail here. Sort of widens out. So you can probably accurately guess that it's actually a female lobster. In female lobsters, we actually mark V's in buried, so basically females which have eggs. So what you do is you take, often there's a tool specifically for this, or just pliers or scissors, and you cut two V's in these two here. Now this female doesn't have any V's, she is undersized, so she's never had eggs before. It's quite a small female. Um, so if she had eggs, we would be cutting a V in both of these over here. So we're going to be releasing our lobster just here, you can see it there, just going to throw it in there. <laughs> 